Monday, July 11th, 2011. My name is Katri and you are watching Heavy Metal News Weekly. So let's get started with this week's news. Firstly, I wanted to talk about German metallers Edguy and they will release their new album Age of the Joker in Europe on August 29th via Nuclear Blast Records and the CD was recorded at Peppermint Studio in Hanover which was previously described by the group as a recording temple with a tremendously great sounding room. The album will feature 11 songs with a total running time of over one hour and the limited edition Tiggy Pack will contain a bonus disc with six additional songs. Guitarist Old Drake of uh, British Trashers Evil has written and arranged a heavy version of the Lady Gaga's hit Born This Way and the resulting track which, according to Old Drake, represents how Born This Way should have sounded if Judas Priest had written it uh, can be seen if you search for it in YouTube or click the link down in the description bar below. And uh, uh, Evil will release its third album, Five Serpents Teeth, on September 26th via Irash Records. The CD was recorded at Barlor Studios in Kettering, UK, with producer Russ Russell who also worked on the band's previous CD, which was released in 2009 and was titled Infected Nations. Megadeth deb debuted a new song, Public Enemy No. 1, during the band's headlining performance on July 4th in Hamburg, Germany. And uh, uh, Megadeth has also set 13 as the title of their new album which is tentatively due out in November via Roadrunner Records and the CD was recorded at Megadeth main man Dave Mustaine's Vix Garage studio in San Marcos, California with producer Johnny K. In a recent interview with Metal Sucks, Nurgle of Behemoth stated that the, they are preparing for touring activities and he says that the October shows in Poland are just to get warmed up and they might do some shows in Australia and Asia, that's the plan. And then the priority for early 2012 is a European tour and shortly after that a US tour. And he added that Behemoth's shows will be completely new, uh, on a new level and Behemoth themselves will have a complete completely different look on stage also. And as uh, Nurgle himself said, they want to show that they are still fucking evolving. Swedish melodic uh, metallers Hammerfall have been confirmed for the next year's edition of the 70,000 tons of metal cruise, which will sail from uh, Miami, Florida to Cayman Islands on January 23rd, 2012 and will return four days later and a total of 40 acts will perform on the crease and if you want to check out who have been uh, confirmed besides Hammerfall then you should check the link down below and see for yourself. Already named one of the hottest chicks in metal by Revolver magazine, Alisa White Plus known as the powerful voice of Canada-based metal band The Agonist is now also the world's sexiest female vegetarian and her star-studied competition for the 2011 title included celebrities such as Natalie Boardman, Anne Hathaway and Olivia Wilde but ultimately metal queen Alisa reigned supreme and uh, while honored by the title, the ever modest frontwoman is happy to show a different side of herself and other fellow wedges. Alisa and the Agonist recently completed a very successful South American tour and now they are back in studio working on their upcoming release. And all the instruments have been tracked down and uh, Alisa is finishing her vocals on the album which is due out in early 2012. Stu Madsen will be handling the mixing duties on the new album. Vocalist Fernando Ribeiro of Portuguese metallers Moonspell 
uh, issued an update uh, regarding Moonspell's new album and uh, he said that uh, the pre-production will be done by Benny Richter in late July and uh, their drummer Mike will record drums for the songs most likely in Germany and the rest of the album will be tracked down by Moonspell and two Madsen during the month of August and once the music is done they will be able to give a better insight into the new concept and way of making things and Ribeiro previously has revealed that the new Moonspell album's initials are A N and it will be tentatively released early 2012 through as yet undetermined record label Italian and German Gothic metallers Grey Worm will enter Dream Sound Studio in Munich, Germany later this month to begin recording their new album Fragments of Death for an October 14th release via Nuclear Blast Records. 11 tracks will be recorded for the follow-up to their 2009 album which was titled Diabolical Figures. Their frontman Stefan Fiori described the mu new material as a combination of Grey Worm's typical uh, elements. The music cuts straighter and displays a perfect blend of their past four albums. Regarding the new CD's title, Stefan says that Fragments of Death, Death stands for the ten musical pieces of a puzzle on the CD. The lyrics deal with different modes of death. There will be one song about the current incidents in Japan, for example. And Grey Worm's uh, previous album, which, were the, which was their seventh album, Diabolical Figures came out in June 2009 via Massacre Records. Different Sense, the new video from Japanese rockers Diren Grey has been released and the song comes off the band's 8th album which is titled Dum Spero Spero which translates to the Latin phrase while I breathe I hope and uh, it will be released on August 2nd via the end records. German power metallers Primal Fear have set Unbreakable as the title of their new album which will tentatively be released on January 20, 2012 via Frontiers Records. And the band entered House of Music Studios in Winterbach, Germany to begin recording the CD and it will be produced by Primal Fear bassist Matt Sinner and engineered by Achim Göhler. And song titles set to appear on the CD include Give em Hell and There Was Silence, Where Angels Die, Born Again and Strike. Femme Metal Records has set the September 26th release date for its fourth compilation CD entitled Melody and Malice. All proceeds from the sales will be donated to the National Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Children, which is a United Kingdom charity campaigning and working in child protection. So these were all the news for this week. Thank you so much for watching and coming back every week. And uh, you can find all the links to the bands I talked about today in the links below. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing also and for always commenting my videos. So I hope you're having a great week and I will see you again next Monday with new news. So until then, stay tuned.